This is the wild horse. This is Pythagoras in his crib, in his treehouse, and this is the man on the tower. The wild horse breaks out. Oh no, Pythagoras, do not get hit. He, the wild horse, knocks Pythagoras and his treehouse over. He sails to an island called Cartesia. When Pythagoras got to the island, he didn't fit the way, go, the way Lego normally fits. Trees were in the way. So the only way he would sit, fit was to go at an angle. So he went at an angle. And he fit perfectly. When we put Lego down on the board, there's usually two ways to do it. I can put it down like this, or I can put it down like this. But I can't put it down like this, so it doesn't work. Normally, we can't put Lego at an angle. However, if we put a piece of Lego here and a piece of Lego here, and then we put this across like this, then it does go to angle. This is known as the Pythagorean trick. It's called the Pythagorean trick because Pythagoras invented it. The Pythagorean trick is based on the following theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In our case, we're using three squared plus four squared equals five squared. This piece is six long, so that means there's five Lego snacks between the first and the last. So support can be placed three over and four up from the other one. And that's why we use Pythagorean theorem to use to place Lego at an angle. With Lego, it's easy to make a square, but with the Pythagorean trick, we can make a dodecagon. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about Pythagorean trick.